go to the minute. We can go ahead and do the public comments. Okay. Public comments. Anyone wishing to speak during public comments must fill out and submit a form to speak. Participation advisory board can make take no action on this date unless the item is agenda. Anyone wishing to speak on items not on today's agenda? Persons no date donating of time to others. And we will begin with Mikhail Harvey. Did I say that right? Yeah, Mikhail. Go ahead and come up to our podium there. Thank you, thank you. Call an NBA, Mike. It's late. What's up, Matt? That's Kelsey. Hello, City Council. This is uh, great to talk to you guys today. Um, 2018 Ocean View alum here. Uh, just wanted to talk about. Um, I'm sure exactly what this uh, meeting is going to be uh, addressed for, but uh, I do have some concerns about what's going on. And, um, just this past weekend, actually, um, I was downtown at Sharky's. Okay, uh, met a decent girl, had a good time, bought her some drinks, getting the Uber to go home. Turns out she's a man. Um, of course, and that was out what I was expecting. Uh, came back home to my house, my roommate giving me trash about it. Not the best thing to go on. All my social media followers do know about it. Uh, blacklisted now. Um, uh, kicked out of my friend's uh, Discord group chat actually recently. Um, kind of a big deal for me. Uh, I was getting paid on there. And, uh, they claim to be, sh I know this may be, I, I know that we are uh, more progressive when it comes to pushing forward bills and things of, of that nature. And uh, like maybe propose <coughs> maybe signage or emblems, something we can put downtown maybe where people can be notified if they're biologically female or biologically male. Thank you. That was, uh, that was what I had to say today. Appreciate it. Can we maybe clarify what this meeting is yeah. and that we are not the city council? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, <laughs> this, this, um, this is a, this is the, um, Citizens Advisory Board, which advises the, makes recommendations to the council regarding uh, funding that we receive from the federal government. So uh, they're not the city council, they're an advisory committee that makes recommendations based upon some funding that we get annually from the government and, and how we expend these funds on uh, like uh, nonprofit organizations to 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 do uh, to help uh, low income families, households, the homeless population, the youth, and everything. So this board doesn't have authority to make um, certain um, like laws or changes or ordinances to, that are related to any public comments figure. So they're just an advisory board on funding. Just to make that clear. If that was clear. Are you seeing it all on Tuesday nights, right? Every other Tuesday? Yeah, the city, city, city council. Like every other Tuesday? Yeah, the first and third Tuesdays of the month. So the next meeting uh, is tentatively, is, I believe, March 5th and then March 19th. And it's a bigger audience, obviously. And i and, um, uh, love to hear comments. <laughs> Yeah, sorry we arrived late and we were a little unaware of the nature of this meeting 
and I apologize if my friend's comments were outside the realm of what we gathered here today for. Um, with that said, I have a dream that chicken headed hoes will stop trying to have my baby. That chicken headed hoes will let me skeet skeet on the booty. Will let me skeet skeet on the titties. Cause girl, I've been shaking and sticking and moving, trying to get to you in that booty, trying to get to you in that booty. Girl, I've been taking and sticking the donkey to you in that monkey, trying to get to you in that monkey. Yeah. No further comments. <clears throat> Look, guys. Again, wanted to apologize for the guy that went before me, um, as well as the guy that went before him as well. I'm here. Uh, thank you for giving us your time and everything. And um, I have a very simple kind of uh, request. You know, I am a homeless advocate. I uh, Used to be homeless myself. Um, the man in the blue shirt, raise your hand, sir. We just spoke earlier. The colored shirt. No, you, you, you. Yeah, you just turned around. Him, yeah. <coughs> sir. I sucked him off under the Huntington uh, beer uh, up here. And, um, uh, I just want to say that with more funding, there will be more bathing, and it will make it more pleasant for me. Thank you, guys, again, for your time. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Um, I just want to talk about how it's 2024, and we still do not have inclusion in certain areas. Um, I, myself, like going to swimming pools. I can't go to the beach all the time because I'm worried about being in the water. When I do go to a swimming pool, I do see that they have signs that still say no diarrhea allowed. And I suffer from IBS, and it hurts me that I can't swim in a pool for two weeks. And I've been clear for 10 days. So I think if there can be funding to remove these signs and allow people like me to swim peacefully. Cool. Thank you. We'll get right on it. Here. Thank you. So I like to talk about, I've been a, a member of the community for a little while now, I just moved here, and uh, we are lacking in a lot of things. So I just want to really promote the funding of Black Sun. The reality is, is uh, Huntington Beach has removed Black History Month from February, from this area. And I just want to make a point that we need more black people here. Simple as that. Uh, we need more black people. We need more black schools. Do we have any? Uh, do we have any black city council members? Any? Ms. Jackson, the, you don't think you said this was the city council? No. No. Yes, if it any black bookstores? No, no, because there's no there's no colored 
There's no colored water fountains. There's no colored bathrooms anymore. There's no segregation here. Everybody's welcome to so be here. So it's not your turn to speak. Well, you know, like, you're at the wrong room. So, I disagree. No, no black, no black drug dealers. dealers. No black salt. No black parking spaces. Excuse me, guys. Do you, any of you love America? Yeah! <coughs> what kind of shoes are you wearing? I don't see any Nikes. Anyone? Any of you like basketball? Falling on deaf ears. So, what I notice is uh, every time we have a, any rally or any gathering like that, the police show up. The coronavirus gathering, no police. BLM protests, police. Then I have an issue with that. And I have an issue with the city. So, right now, all I want to do is make sure we have funding for black people in America, black people in Huntington Beach. And I noticed that the only black council member in here has the gavel. Interesting, but, you know. That's my time, thank you very much. Calvin? I have a small business. I've been mowing lawns since 2017, gardening and stuff like that. This lady that is one of my best customers and parents Miss Anderson, she kind of lives off the main. And you know, I've always had a kind of crush on her. And she basically, I don't know, last week kind of knew the American dream was kind of strong because she had hit on me and I was and that was, you know, dream come true. So I know that here in Huntington Beach, dreams can come true. And you know, my grandfather always used to say he had like a little saying. There's like a little screech that he do, and goes like, "I, I never can do it, but I'm gonna try it." I'm not going to be a fan of cleaning. <laughs> <laughs>